Um, committee, we were doing S16 next, and I saw Cheryl Hooker was on but left. Um, Chrissy, do you know uh, she had to leave or? I just zipped her and um, Jim a note that you guys are ready to move on to S16. So we're hoping she'll pop right back in. Okay, is that, and Dick, that was one of your bills, right? It's on school discipline. Senator Sears. Senator Rahm and I introduced the bill. I thought you were had a, an association yep. uh, with the bill. Okay. Yep. Yep. And you want to create a council? Yes. I get to tell you, oh, Senator Hooker's. Yeah, Senator Hooker is connecting now. So we, you know, uh, planning rooms, huh? Um, when my son was in um, second grade, that actually they had a big box. I don't know, it was probably like a one of, I don't know, an appliance might have come in. And um, so they didn't have planning, but I think my son uh, might have spent quite a bit of time there in that. Um, cardboard box um, in second grade. Man, um, I would have loved that. That's like, clever. You know, I don't, I don't think he, I don't think he ever objected. Uh, I want you to know that, um, yes, it's, it's very hard to imagine listening him to him on VPR, which I've not done, to know um, what a screw off. Uh, I guess this is on, uh, I guess I'm putting myself on the record, but yes, academically, sure shall we say his K through 12 experience was not stellar. Jane, I just wanna say, I've heard you say now three times that you haven't listened to your son. I do not believe you. I think you clicked in and listened. No, I, don't, I have not, I have not, I have not. I have not clicked it. I have not, I don't even know how to do it. And so- He's on uh, Zoom too much to do that. I, yeah, I feel like um, I've been in front of a screen. So I I, I don't know, but I um, I do know, I think um, Senator Ballant was talking about planning rooms. And so it reminded me that we had a, a, a lesser cost version of that, which was- we, um, we had some boxes at my house too, so. Oh, <laughs> did you? Uh -huh. Yeah. So I think that probably that was not such a bad punishment. No, All right, so Senator Hooker, yeah. we're sorry we pulled you that out was, and then you That left. was a little bit of school discipline, right? There you go. I think so, I think so. Um, so we are on S16 and um, it's around a uh, school discipline advisory council. And Correct. we have Senator Hooker here um, to um, give us an update. Obviously, it, because it has a council, uh, the council gets compensated and that's why we have the bill. Yes, well, thank you, Chair yeah. Kitchell. Um, Cheryl Hooker for the Senate Education Committee. I'll be reporting the bill on the floor. Um, I think this bill, as you've said, proposes to create a school disciplinary advisory council to assess school discipline methods in Vermont public schools. Um, there will be 15 members on the board, which will begin meeting on September 1st, 2021, and the council will meet for no more than six meetings. Members of the council shall be entitled to a per diem compensation, um, which is $50 per day, and JFO standard method of calculating expenses is $76.25 per diem for public members. Unless Therefore, they are otherwise compensated by their job. It's oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Therefore the total compensation for public members um, and expenses is 126.25 per day. All 15 members attend all six meetings, that means it'd be about $11,500. Is this an ongoing advisory council or is no, it a, a, no. for a period of time? Um, they, they will report to um, the General Assembly. There are only six meetings. Oh, just a minute, wait a minute. Um, I believe, you know, I, I'd have to check on that and see what we, we ended up doing because there was some talk about making it an ongoing council so that we would keep track of what was going on in the um, in the schools as far as discipline. The purpose of the council is to gather data to work with AOE um, and the school districts to get 
accurate data on the types of discipline that is happening in our schools. Um, currently, uh, the information for Vermont's disciplinary um, actions is incomplete, and we would like to have a more accurate and more precise um, indication of what's happening and who's being affected by this. So uh, I do have to check to see. Um, so um, uh, what we're talking about here then is the uh, just the, um, the reimbursement. I, I had a question, are the membership, is it to um, get, to develop um, sort of best practices in terms of how discipline um, is um, defined or um, to guide practices within schools. Because so uh, I know that the, the reason behind the bill obviously is um, to um, not to escalate and to really know how to manage um, some of these situations in a way that kids can stay in school and succeed in school. So yeah, is yes. the composition to get that kind of expertise on the council? I, I'm, just, I'm just wondering, I realize that isn't money, but um, in terms of the thinking of the bill. Yes, exactly. That's one of the charges of the council. Okay. Um, Senator Baruth. Uh, Senator Hooker, I'm just wondering, I, I remember this discussion over the years AOE has been unsuccessful getting this disciplinary data, so they can't necessarily do apples to apples. Um, and I'm wondering how would this task force or council have greater authority to get that than AOE? It seems like a district, I could imagine being less likely to give it to an advisory panel than they would be to give it to AOE. Is there is there some accompanying language that gives them more authority or what, what was the discussion on that? Um, I'm gonna ask Jim Demaray to talk about um, the authority piece and where the authority lies here. It's, you know, my understanding is that the council would work with school districts and the, the uh, agency of education, utilizing some of the data that the agency already has, but then asking for more data from school districts. Is that, am I correct in that, Jim? Well, the data comes from the agency of education. That's in section four. Um, so the agency is supplying the data to a task force, which is going to analyze that data and then re make recommendations on how to approve the uh, data collection process. But it doesn't um, so address the underlying, uh, they can only give the data they have. So I think Senator Brewer's concern is the sort of the paucity of and, and comprehensiveness or the consistency of the data that uh, is provided to work with is, I just want to understand the yeah. question so, that you were raising. Right, so um, in other words, well, well, the last part maybe speaks to it where we're, we're asking them in part to develop different ideas to make the data more comprehensive because you know the question has always been, should we have a stick to, to enforce compliance? So for instance, Senator Sears remembers this for sure um, last session in, in 219, we had a piece that said, if you didn't provide your traffic stop data, then you couldn't get state grants for your law enforcement agency. And the thinking was that was the, the teeth that would allow it. And it seems like in this case- But too, that was the law, that was the law, right? In that case. Uh, no, we added that piece that that you couldn't get the grant without. No, I understand, but we were oh, saying oh. you aren't going to get it because you're failing to comply with the law, right? Which is, um, which uh, is, I uh, might be different than. Well, I believe AOE has the, the authority to compel this data. Am I right in that, Jim? They they do to the extent that it doesn't violate pri privacy laws. Yeah. Right. So if they if they don't 
um, if they aggregate the data, there, then there shouldn't be a problem, except in a super tiny school, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, it's I, I'm I'm fine with this, and we'll vote for it. I was just curious if there was oh. some plan to get around that basic problem, which is that many districts won't or don't report. Mm -hmm. Well, and I, I think too that um, what Jim said, what Mr. Demery said about the collection of data and the process that's used is going to um, help to ameliorate that and help to bring that more into focus, so. But will, okay. the report, will the report, I'm trying to read through the bill um, again as passed by help, by Senate Education. Will the report provide um, demographic data in terms of um, race, uh, mm -hmm. socioeconomic, other factors? That, uh, and gender, I shown, think. And gender. And that studies have shown, um, there's a, a site here, um, Students who are suspended are at significantly higher risk of academic failure, dropping out of school, entering the juvenile justice system. Um, nationally, students of certain racial and ethnic groups and students with disabilities will spend higher rates. Will we, will we have data on that so that we there, can look? Um, there is an amendment to the bill that would ask for that, to, for the data to well, be disaggregated. You know, that really was to, the, Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's that the goal of it. I mean, that's offered. one of the important things. If we don't have that data, um, you know, just yesterday or this morning, there's an article in the Bennington Banner about a school, um, the high school or middle school, I'm not sure which, um, role playing um, with using stuff from 2006 that had people role playing as either a uh, immigrant. Or a nice age, and it was seen as one of the persons of color who was in the class was the immigrant, and felt this, um, you know, discriminated against. And so a lot of those things that are happening um, even today. So I'm, I'm curious about getting that information. Uh, the what led me to to introduce the bill once, you know, is basically those studies from Texas that showed a high correlation between uh, going to jail and school discipline, mm -hmm. even as, as young as the elementary grades. So, um, including expulsion the, and suspension. The reason that we didn't take action on the bill until today was to allow for an amendment. Um, right. And I um, just want to connect maybe this discussion with the amendment that um, may uh, um, uh, address this question about what data or information being collected. So um, I don't know. Did the amendment, um, is that going to be offered, Cheryl? Or Yes, yes, it is. And um, the information, the data would be disaggregated according to race, um, gender, um, needs, uh, special needs, you know, all of the, the things that right. are already, already collected in some cases. The problem, and I think what really spurred this, and, and I'll ask um, Senator Sears to corroborate this, is that we don't have accurate or complete information about this in Vermont, and we'd like to know. I mean, we can um, anecdotally say that Vermont is like the rest of the country, there are expulsions and a lot of the kids who are expo expelled are uh, kids who meet are, are in these different groups. So we need to um, be a little more accurate about that. Also, the bill has a section that would ban expulsion or um, exclusionary discipline for kids eight and under. Mm -hmm. Oh, no planning Interestingly. Room? Interest, well, interestingly, I, I, one of the statistics that came out was that preschool kids are less, are more likely to be excluded than other kids. And I, you know, I suppose they cry or 
have temper tantrums or something that that may be annoying, but it, it just shocked me to read that statistic. No, until you can admit you have a problem inside the cell, I think right. Vermont the, hasn't looked at what is the scope of the problem of suspension and expulsion. I can tell you the kids that I used to deal with really preferred expulsion and suspension, complete suspension, because <laughs> well, <they're>, they <laughs> there was nobody at home and you know they could pretty much do what they wanted. Mm -hmm. Well, well, we did hear the story of the kids who knew that in a day when they weren't supposed to have cigarettes in school and they would purposefully bring cigarettes to school just before hunting season so that they could be expelled <laughs> for the two weeks of hunting season or three weeks or whatever it was. But And that's another uh, thing that was found out in the research that a lot of the exclusionary discipline was due to minor infractions, I mean, you know, taking cigarettes to school or whatever. So these are things that we want the council to look at and to come up with best practices for. Other questions of Senator Hooker? I, I move the bill. Um, okay. No, move the, is it 15,000 or 11 to five? 11 to five, I think is a, the approximate. The bill had 15,000. Fifteen. I'll second that. Is it fifteen, Jim? Fifteen. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I thought the um, JFO. Uh, well, maybe. No, it's eleven five. Bill says fifteen right now. So. I bid twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so we have we have a motion made by Senator Sears to move the bill favorably. It carries um, an appropriation of fifteen thousand mm -hmm. to support the work of the council, seconded by Senator Westman. Um, other discussion. If not, um, the clerk shall call the roll. Well, you have to give me more of a, of a heads up than that. Well, we work fast here, Phil. Yeah, Westman <laughs> used to be able to do this immediately. <laughs> I can only aspire. And I had to hand do the sheets. I can only aspire to one day be as good as Richie. Uh -huh. Okay, one second. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Well, it is Friday afternoon. I've been a long day. trip ahead of me to Bennington, you know. <laughs> we we actually are going a little later. Uh, we used to give you quite a bit of deference, particularly on a snowy right. winter day. Right. Uh, okay, ready. Senator Ballant. Yes. Senator Baruth, yes. Senator Nitka. I think she had to leave um, okay. to go get her flu shot, maybe. Senator no. Sears. Oops. Senator Sears. Yes. Senator Starr. You're muted. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Senator Westman. Yes. Senator Kitchell. Yes. Bobby, we, we can't go unless you say it out loud because someone could be holding a gun on you too. Oh, God. So right. 601 and the yes. reporter of the bill. Um, I know we went through this before, Senator Ballin, do you want to um, uh, delegate your reporting to um, uh, to another member of the committee? No, I'll do this one, it's fine. Okay, all right. I, I know it's an area that's um, close to your heart. Particular interest. <laughs> yeah, all right, so yeah. uh, Senator Ballin then will be the reporter. Thank um, you very and according to my calendar, I mean my schedule, we're uh, we're uh, we are finished for the week um, once we uh, voted on S sixteen. So Cheryl, I, I hope you're you have to go back to committee. Or are you done? Yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> Going back to the committee. Oh. But thank you very much. And this will be on the floor on. It'll be Wednesday. on the calendar on Tuesday. The floor mm -hmm. on. Wednesday, probably. Wednesday. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Um, so thank you, Jim. Um, so Good we to see are you, Jim. adjourning the